What's up guys, thanks for clicking on the video. In today's video, I'm gonna to talk to Sandeep Das. So I met Sandeep when he came to Bitspilani to give a talk and ever since I've been in touch with him. Uh, Sandeep is a columnist, he writes for Fortune, he writes for Economic Times and at the same time he has worked at some of the largest corporations out there. He studied at IIM Bangalore and has written a book called Hacks for Life and Career, A Millennial's Guide to Making It Big. Uh, do check it out and he's someone who understands the millennial world so if I am and you are like college students, say, then he is someone who really understands what are the things we go through and what problems we face. So do watch the interview and I hope you get some value out of it. Yeah. First of all, thank you so much Sandeep for taking out time and joining us today. Um, my question to you is like right now, I am in my third year, second semester and next year, you know, you have placements and you have to decide what to do next in life. And a lot of students are stuck in this dilemma wherein they're like, okay, what should I do next? I know software engineering pays well, especially engineering students. They know that software engineering uh, is something that pays really well. And most of them aren't really interested in it, right? Uh, even, even in my college, like a uh, majority, like 90% of the electronic students go and sit for software engineering jobs because they think that's the only way out. And that's what can take them forward in their career. A uh, very few actually sit for electronics company jobs, even though companies like NVIDIA, NVIDIA come to our campus. And then you have a set of students who are like, okay, I'm confused if I should do masters or not, if at all a masters would be worth it. Uh, the third set of students are people who are like, okay, should I do MBA or not? Will an MBA sort of double my salary? And then you have students who are uh, like, okay, should I start up? Should I start my own business? Uh, is, is that something viable enough? How do I make this decision? So we have this four set of uh, students and these are like the different sort of moods that everyone goes through, especially at this juncture uh, in college. So I just want to know about your perspective. If you uh, were to go back in time and just trace back the history, then how would you sort of decide and make an intelligent decision at this point? Yeah, and uh, first of all, thank you for inviting me. And these are very important questions. And I can tell you, I speak at a lot of places and this is something that is asked to me a lot. So. There, there are a few lenses you can look at while there are no right and wrong answers. The first lens you have to look at is what do you want to do, say, when you are 25, 26? So today, a lot of you might be 19, 20, 21. So the first lens, you have to look at that. So if your lens is, I am sure I don't want to do coding and programming. I want to do an MBA. So in the final placements, you have to choose your companies in a way that will help you get to the MBA. If you are absolutely certain in five or six years that I am definitely going to the US to do an MS, that's something I really want to do. Then you have to idly choose the company that will help you in that journey to get there. So the question of final placement should be about what you want to do in five years and how it should get there. Do not think about the compensation. To be honest, a couple of lakhs here and there over a period of time means nothing. So it should all be driven by that. that. That's point. That's the first lens you should apply. The second lens I often hear a lot of students say, should I pursue entrepreneurship? And uh, it looks glamorous. It's very sexy. But I think it's the worst possible idea you can have. What I would suggest, and I personally believe that if you are 19, 20, 21, get into the corporate or get down with your higher education. And if you have a great entrepreneurial idea, do it in parallel. Do it in parallel in a small prototype. Say if you have a great idea for a campus, try it out in bits for six months along with your semester. See how it goes for six to nine months. If you see it scaling up, if you see the prototype is really working, students are interested, only then you should leave everything and pursue entrepreneurship. Do not pursue entrepreneurship having left everything done. I think it's, it's, it's a terrible, terrible idea because you also have to understand that the last decade, there were glaping, uh, there were sort of white spaces where you could just get in, plug in, and those ideas were taken care of. This decade, I think a lot of those basic ideas, which are because of 4G technology coming in, are taken. And a lot of solutions are going to be very incremental, very niche-driven, So, which will take a period of time. So if you're looking at entrepreneurship, do it in parallel. Don't just try for yourself. And if it scales up over six to nine months is uh, then what you should think of. The third lens is in terms of... Uh, what is the higher education degree I should do, whether it's MS, whether it's MBA or something completely different. I, I think it's driven by individual taste, not so much money. So one of the ways you can look at is if you are someone who enjoys organizing events, 
if you are someone who likes to be a social media influencer if you are someone who's a part of a lot of business festivals if you are someone who's very interested say in tech talks if you like reading about business movies and mba might be of interest to you if you are someone who's very driven by technology you get very excited with tech products you get very excited with product manager roles you get very excited with coding design then maybe you should look at an ms and that's the way forward for you so that's how i would look at it so first where you want to be 5 years down the line second in terms of entrepreneurship should always be a parallel track and third see where your preferences are and then choose an mba or an ms but despite uh, San- sandeep uh, i think uh, San- yes? i lost you over there uh, the audio just broke for some reason from where did you I, I, now can I you hear the, me oh, oh yeah now it's fine i think the audio just switched to some other device yeah now it's fine yeah now it's fine so from which line did you lose me uh when you were giving the final summary the second line. yeah so yeah so these are three lenses you can look at but to be honest even after that you might be confused it's it's not a very easy world to live in and if you are totally confused my honest answer is just follow the herd you're too young you're 20 21 there is nothing shameful about follow the following the herd what does following the herd mean look at a senior whom you admire or whom you think is very similar to you in terms of profile in terms of likes and see what that senior did if you are completely confused just follow that path if you even don't manage to get it look at your batch look at what your friends are doing and just follow the herd your 2021 you'll figure it out in course of time that's an interesting perspective uh, like you know when you, when we think about it uh, there's a herd for a reason right i mean someone has found a path that at least works for some time and that's why everyone's just following it so kind of makes sense especially when you're like really clueless about what you want to do next 